distilleries during this COVID pandemic. Again, I would like to remind you that companies like Barefoot or New Belgium or Tito's aren't going away anytime soon, so please support local businesses. Uh, today, I would like to talk about a style of wine that I claim is the new rosé, and that is orange wine. So, first things first. Orange wine is not made from oranges, as what you would initially think. Orange wine is a method of winemaking that involves white and or pink grapes. During the making of white wine, the skins of the grapes are taken off the juice almost immediately. During the making of orange wine, however, the skins are left on for one to six months. So the orange color that comes from the seeds um, are left at the, uh, are, wow editing abilities. So the reason why you have the orange color is that it comes from the seeds at the bottom of the tank. Uh, so making orange wine is much more similar to the making of red wine. Both have tannin and both are fully fuller bodied than uh, white wines. I'm just hitting it out of the park today. So um, here's a little diagram of orange wine. These are the skins up at the top. And these are the seeds that are uh, contributing the uh, orange color. Okay. So, other things to note. Uh, the process dates back 100 years ago in northern Italy and central European country Slovenia. And even perhaps further, uh, thousands of years ago to the eastern European country of Georgia. The colloquial name orange wine was coined back in 2004 by British wine importer David A. Harvey. In the country of uh, Georgia, uh, orange wine is actually referred to as amber wine because it often has more of an amber hue than an orange one. If you want to be even more technical, though at the same time more vague, you could call orange wine skin contact wine. So the sweetness level of orange wines depend on the grapes that are used. I've only run into orange wines that are ridiculously sweet, um, which pairs exceptionally well with chocolate. A good example of this would be Quade Electra White, which is made from orange muscat, and that's a winery out of California. So if you want to be the weirdo at the next dinner party, uh, bring a bottle of orange wine. Mines will be blown, and if there's going to be chocolate and it's a sweet bottle, you'll uh, definitely be the hit. Anyway, this is Mark, your Madison Cork Dork. Tomorrow at 3 o'clock, I'll be going over an Italian grape or group of grapes that is, uh, used to be extremely popular but has uh, since fallen in the past few decades. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully tomorrow I will not stumble over as many words. Thank you very much.